welcome to Pumpkin's Nail Station. Today I'm going to be doing a manicure on my flexi hand here um, and I'll be doing an 80s theme um, collaboration um, that I decided to do with a friend from Instagram. Her name is Nails by Lady Red. Um, she's got a flexi hand as well um, and I, I, her profile caught my eye at first because of all the beautiful work that she does on it so I thought oh you know what her pictures look awesome so it it kind of helped me confirm that this was the product for me because it was practical and it still looks nice on photographs as well um, so we're doing this collab on our flexi hand and it may be a regular thing I think it will be I think we'll be doing a regular like flexi hand nail art collab um, showing different things on on the hand um, together like as part of a collab um, she's also starting a new channel so this video will be her first video so if you could head over and check that video out like it and subscribe I would appreciate it um, one thing I want to mention is that she does a lot of acrylic work so if you like that and you like acrylic nail art, colour blocking, all that kind of good stuff then her channel will be definitely be one to watch because she's really good at it so yeah so if, if that interests you then check it out she's also good at nail art and stuff like that so I actually think that her channel will be definitely definitely a good one to watch so yeah head over like subscribe and all of that um, so yeah, so we'll be using this today. Um, I have given her a name. Her name is Kelly. So welcome Kelly to the channel, everybody. Hello, everybody. She says, <laughs> look at her beautiful nails that she's got on, and uh, yeah, she's got some bling on as well. So the products that I'll be using for this is the She Modern um, Neon Powders. Um, so I'll be using these colours. So let me just zoom you in a little. So I'll be using the yellow bright neon sparkling, so I'll be using that one. I'll be using the blue neon sparkling, so it looks like that. I'll be using the orange neon sparkling, these do have glitters, that's why I think they're called sparkling. Um, the purple neon, the green neon and the pink neon and the bright yellow neon and they also do a yellow neon which is a little bit um, not as bright but I decided to use that for this um, we'll also be using the black um, ombre paint as an as like a nail art paint and we'll also be using the she, new she modern glue based gel so this is a new product that they've brought out for pigments and glitters to help it adhere to the nail better um, I do want to say that uh, I actually think that this is going to be a good product to use so you need to check this out so I think it's $17.99 um, it's plus shipping but if you spend a certain amount I think you get free shipping so I'll put that information in the description box we'll also be using the stencils what they sell the She Modern canvases um, a white gel polish by Maffey as the base so that's what we'll be using um, we'll also need a silicone tool, something to wipe off the um, excess powder from my flexi hand. Um, what's this? Something else? I was going to use. Oh yeah, and you'll need a no wipe top coat. So I'm not going to use a particular one. Um, to, I'll be use a better one to top it off. But initially, I'll just use a, a cheap one that I've got here. Um, because I don't want it to contaminate so I'll be using that one the cheap one and then we'll use the I'm Lee to finish it off because that's my new favorite um, so yeah so that's everything so I'm just gonna set everything up and then we'll get started okay so I'm just gonna paint one of these nails um, with white with white gel polish on camera and then I'll come back if this was your own nails you would have uh, base coated them and all that stuff first but this is just an artificial tip so do thin coats and if you think you need a second layer go for a second layer so I'm just going to do the rest of these off camera and then I'll come back when we're ready to do the pigments. 
Okay, right, so we're back. So we've painted these nice and white so they look like that. Um, and the next step um, would be to apply this. Uh, ew. To apply this, the glue base gel. So we're just going to do that. So you just apply this as if you would like a top coat or something like that. So, oops. just twist my hand around. I need to really sort out my desk. So, let me just turn so you can see what I'm doing. So you just apply this as if you would a top coat or a base coat or any gel polish. This does need curing and you do need a nice layer of it. Make sure you go down the sides as well, especially on nails like this. It doesn't smell. It does have, it's a fine, it doesn't smell at all. So I'll just apply one more and then um, I'll do the rest off camera. Um, so you can use this for most things. I will do another demo of this where we try it with glitters and burnishing and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah. I'm just going to do the rest of that off camera and then I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds and then I'm going to come back. Okay, right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use our stencils. So I'll show you how I put one on and then again I'll come back just because this is, I want to try and keep this video as short as possible. So this is, so these are the She Modern stencils. So I'll show you how I do it on one of the nails. Let me just get myself in position. So we're going to need the silicon tool as well. So let me just show you how I would do it. So I'm going to do this nail like this. So I'm going to stick it down but I'm not going to touch it or tamper too much with the tacky layer. I'm just going to press it down like that and make sure it's right down into the corners. Okay, so I'm going to do this to all the nails and then I'm going to come back and when we're ready to add some pigment. Okay, right, so we're back. So I've set every stencil up in like a slightly uh, different way just for a bit of fun and we're going to start off with the pink um, neon powder so we'll just make sure it's uh, still stuck down so we'll just make sure just by giving it a little press but it felt like it was still stuck down if, there was your, if this was your own hands you would apply liquid latex to the cuticle area and if you don't think you're getting enough pigment just give them a little shake and more will drop out so where is my eyeshadow one I think I might have dropped it on the floor so you just need something like one of these use one for every single colour but I just use different sides for different colours so if you think you need more powder just drop more on the good thing about these containers is you can have as much or as little as you are as you like like you can really push it up there like that really down into the sides and just make sure you've covered all over and then you can peel that one off to make your life a bit easier so I'm just going to hold on to the nail so it doesn't come out yep 
that's worked perfect that is brilliant I absolutely love this powder and then I would just wipe it clean with a lint-free wipe with a bit of water on it they, they do come off the water soluble I will use a different colour on the next nail so we'll go for the bright yellow so you can use whatever colours you want you know I'm not I haven't really got a plan I'm just sort of winging it here And then finally, we've got our last nail. So now we'll go for the green. Now I just decided, just you know, I thought I'll just have a bit of fun with this. Just make sure um, ones like this are really stuck down because you want the pattern to be really defined. So if you brush it down first then you won't get anything on the other side like I did earlier on. Okay, so I'm going to set the stencils again off camera and then I'll come back and we'll finish. Then we'll do the next part of the design. Okay, right, so we're back. So we might speed up little parts of this. Um, so yeah, because I've already showed you how to do it but I want to show you the full I'm just going to pause the camera because I just need to get another um, eyeshadow wand. I'm back. So I wanted to get one for this orange. Because I didn't want to be dabbing in like, other colours. So I'm really pushing it up into the cuticle bit.
packing. Right, so that's all that done. So I'm just gonna just gonna clean up, then come back and we'll top coat everything. Okay, right. So now we're just gonna add a layer of this cheap no wipe top coat to all of the nails. just going to cure these and then I'll come back okay so this is what we've got so far um, so we've got our neon nails now the lighting's not brilliant but trust me um, I'll take some pictures of these and these are quite bright they are really bright neon so they do look nice so I'm just going to leave them as they are um, I also brought some funky uh, water decals to go on these so let me show you them I'm wearing these gloves because I've got a birthday manicure underneath and I don't want to show it don't want to spoil the surprise um, so yeah so I've got these uh, let me just focus you on them so I've got the Isle of the 80s and these funky sunglasses um, we're going to add a little bit of black detail into it and maybe just a few swirls and dots and, and cool stuff like that. So we're going to try and jazz this up a bit, shall we say. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to cut these out ready. I'm going to mix the art stuff that I need up ready. And then the next part that we see will be the cool stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So I've got a, a liner brush and some of this black um, She Modern Ombre Powder mixed with the cheap No Wipe Top Coat on to a canvas from She Modern. So now we're going to try and do some lines here. So I'm going to cure those and then I'm going to come back. Okay, so first off, just before we start sticking the decals on, I'm just going to add a couple more lines. So I'm going to add some flashes, flash lines here. So I'm using the black ombre powder for this nail design here. We'll just stick a few more on the bottom. I actually watched um, a couple of videos on YouTube for inspiration. So I'm going to stick the ladies names and videos at the bottom of the screen because I can't think of them off the top of my head. But thank you ladies because actually some of these ideas I picked up on and off from videos from them so yeah so thank you very much ladies I appreciate it so some of these things I picked up from watching their videos I appreciate it So I'm not the best at drawing lines, as you can see, I'm not the greatest. I think I'm going to wipe that off and start again. So I'm just going to get something to clean that up and then I'll come back. Okay, right. so we're back. Um, just to speed things up a bit, I just added a few dots to that nail, a bit of white to there and a bit of a cheetah print. 
and just a glitter line but I'll do all that in a separate video um, I'm just trying to speed this up um, and what I've done now so we can apply some water decals until I get the grip base gel I've just applied some of this glue base gel so we're going to try and see if this will stick the decals down like just as well as the grip base gel that comes out so this one says I love the 80s so we're going to stick we'll stick that one there and then I'm just going to get this my silicone tool just to push it down and that's applied it perfect super flat no messing about done so now we'll wet another water decal I'll wet a few on camera and I'll wet a she modern one on camera and then I'll come back when I've added them all on just to like speed it up a, a touch so I'm just soaking another decal because they've brought out a new uh, product that's just for decals so this is the one that's for pigments but they brought out a grip base gel which is for decals so I should have that one soon but I just thought I'd use this one for now um, this idea for putting the decals on with the stamper was suggested to me by um, Princess Nails by Diana so thank you girl <sighs> I appreciate it Just keep with me guys. I love water decals, they're just so like they just add something extra and anybody can do it, which is what I like about a water decal. So I'm just gonna remove the water from my stamper. So I've just got these like blue stars. So I might add those to this nail here. So like I say, I'm just winging this here guys, so don't judge me on how this turns out. I'm just, you know, trying to go all out for some 80s vibe. Okay, what time are we on for? Okay. I had a couple of flowers. Okay, so I'm just going to pause the camera and come back when I've added the rest of the decals, and then I'll come back and show you the full design. Okay, so this is the finished design. So what do you think? I did go a bit crazy because, well, it's on a flexi hand so I can do what I want. <laughs> I'm not going to have to wear it so I just went fit all out but I did really enjoy doing it and I think they've turned out pretty cool, pretty awesome for an 80s design. So yeah, I really enjoyed doing this. I'll just show you the um, extra products that I used. So to top it off, I've used the iMaily No White Top Coat. I used the black and white um, She Modern Ombre Powders mixed with No White Top Coat for some of the lines. I also added in a bit of the black hollow by She Modern just there. So just on that line there 
I did a bit of black hollow and the decals that I used were these so I used the She Modern Mixed Arts which was a flower which was just there and I used the She Modern Star in blue on this nail just here just on the pinky there um, I was going to use some lips but I didn't really know where to put them so I didn't um, and yeah the other decals that I used were from eBay by YR Nails so I'll put the link to those in the description box I think it was about £1 maybe £1.99 each I can't remember um, but the She Modern decals most of you know how much they are but they're $7.99 plus shipping and um, if you spend so much then you get free shipping um, the products and pigments are in four packs and they're $29.99 um, but you get a free um, $7.99 foil art in there which is random so yeah and the stencils you buy them in packs of five or ten i'll put the details in the description box but look you can see what beautiful arts you can create with the stencils uh, this is pretty cool this design i do like it with this new um grip gel it did make my life a lot easier than using foil glue for stuff like this the stencils weren't really hard to pull off um like they were before when you were using foil glue it was really hard to pull off and then you was having to clean it and all of that stuff well you didn't have to do that um, with this so that was pretty cool uh, I got pretty crisp lines as well from it and I think the pigments have turned out really pigmented as well um, I'm not sure if the camera's really picking it up but on the photo it does look brighter so I'm going to stick some pictures up on the screen just now for you to have a look at for the full design and for just before I put the water decals on so you can see how crisp the lines were before I added any of these lines as well so you can see how crisp the nail art was um, and yeah so that's it so this product definitely most definitely gets a thumbs up from me it's $17.99 but I was sent this to review but I would buy it now I've tried it this will be something that will almost definitely be staying in my in my um, nail art must have so I would buy it again once it runs out from She Modern now I've tested it out it's something I would buy um, most definitely it gets a thumbs up and I've got the grip gel on the way so you'll all get to see that as well I did use that with this this one with the decals but the grip gel is designed for decals and it's also a top and base coat as well like for the pigments if it's used together basically you don't need any other base or top coat so we'll, when it comes we'll try it all together so yeah so that's everything so don't forget to follow and like um nails by lady red as well a uh, link will be in the description box and it's at the beginning of the video as well don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you've got this far i would appreciate it and also if you could give me a thumbs up i would appreciate that as well so thank you for watching bye